It was 28th October 2019 when I first watched anime and after binging anime for say two days, I made a sketch. And not gonna lie, I was really proud of how it looked. And I made more of these sketches. And skip to four years later, this is how my drawing looks like. But during these four years, I made a lot of mistakes and I don't want you all to do the same. Don't worry, I'll tell you every trick, tip, method which I've ever applied to get where I am today. But for that, you'll need to follow these six steps which... You know, I could just tell you to draw a circle, two lines, two eyes and boom, you're done with the face. But what if I tell you to draw the same face looking up, left, right or down? You probably won't be able to do that, right? And to do that, you need to learn to draw shapes. Not just shapes, but shapes in perspective. Learning how to draw spear will help you illustrate any object that is in 3D. Start by drawing a circle and then draw two lines which will show the angle to which the sphere has been rotated. Drawing a cube might sound very easy and simple and basic to you, but it's the fundamental and most important step in learning to draw anything. A cube helps us imagine the objects in 3D space. Drawing a single cube will really be easy, but what if we keep on stacking cubes one above the another and keep drawing a lot more of them? Yup, it gets kinda hard. So you might be thinking, how do we draw that? Perspective there are basically three kinds of perspective. First, po uh, first point perspective, second point perspective, one, two, and three point perspective. The most commonly used perspective is two point perspective. Start by drawing two dots by keeping a little distance between them. After that, draw lines passing through the dots to draw a cube. And just like that, keep adding more lines and draw more cubes. Another day brings another reason. What is perspective? Imagine your head as a camera. Always be clear in your mind by asking yourself, am I looking at this object up or down? If you're looking up, you'll probably see the bottom of the object. And if you're looking down, you'll probably see the top of the object. Decide the angle before you draw the subject. Wait a minute. You all might be thinking, why am I showing you how to draw cubes and circles and all, right? Let me show you the power of cubes and what cubes can do. All things can be divided into cube forms. This is the basis of understanding 3D space. No matter how complex a subject seems, it can always be simplified further. This kind of figure is known as box mannequin. With a box mannequin, you can focus on rotating the forms in space and getting the proportions correct. I guess this much is more than enough to show you all the power of cubes. Till now, all we were doing was drawing some cubes and spears. But from now, the difficulty level will increase. But have you ever tried rotating the cube in space? Cube is a building block of every object, every pose, every everything you see. And if you want to change the pose of the character, you need to learn how to rotate cube first. Let me show you a very easy way to do that. The thin cylinder at the center shows the center of the cube. After that, join the four vertices of the cube which will form an oval. Make a point just a little bit further from the vertex of the cube and do that with all the four vertices. Finally, join all the four vertices together and you will form a cube which is rotated towards left side. By using this method, you can practice rotating the cube in any angle possible. Every object you see is made up of simple cubes and we can apply the same method to rotate cubes in three-point perspective. Drawing cubes was kinda easy, so now let's jump into something a bit challenging. The world around us is a 3D space and every object lies in it. Every object we see has three dimensions, width, depth and height. Not only single objects but whole scenes fit into these dimensions. Try to imagine each object sitting in its own cube form. The skull is the basis of our understanding of the head. And in order to draw faces, you need to learn to draw skull. Start with a rough circle. Then draw a vertical and a horizontal line passing through the center of the circle. Divide the circle in three equal parts. Our face is not a sphere. It's actually an oval shape. So draw two lines from both the sides to cut the sphere. Add two big circle shapes where our eye sockets will fit. A triangle shape for the nose. And after adding some more details, your skull is complete. Practice drawing skulls from various perspectives such as front view, side view, three quarter view and from above or below. Try practicing to draw skull in all angles using a cube. A skull is the base of the head. So understanding all the forms of the skull is really essential. Divide the skull into sections to understand its different parts. Pay attention to the placement of eye sockets, the nose, cheekbones and jawline. Now we are going to look at the head. 
as we go along don't forget to think in form not line every line should represent a physical object not a symbol imagine if you could explore each form and visualize what lies beneath the surface start by drawing a circle and then draw a vertical and a horizontal line at the center of the circle our face is generally divided into three parts from the forehead to eyebrows eyebrows to nose and nose to chest we'll cut this sphere from both sides as our face is not a proper sphere it's an oval two circles for the eyes start drawing ears from the eyebrows and end around the nose after that draw some eyebrows on the horizontal line of the circle and the distance between two eyes is of a single line with the help of the small circles add in those eyes there's no need to make a very detailed nose just a small triangle will do and do the same with the lips only just a single line is more than enough to show them as a beginner just focus on the placement of the features we'll look into details later don't draw every single strand of hair instead imagine the whole hair as a single chain now let's see an example of the same face but in different angle this plus sign shows the angle to which the face has been rotated and just like that follow the same steps used previously Rather than directly starting with bones and muscles of the human body, we'll first begin with basic mannequin figure, which will be really easy to understand. We'll represent the whole human body using just squares, circles, and cylinders. With a box mannequin, you can focus on rotating the forms in space and getting the proportions correct. And once we master this mannequin in all angles, drawing a human figure will really be a piece of cake. Begin by sketching basic shapes to outline the different parts of the mannequin's body. These shapes will be circles for heads and joints, cylinders for torsos and limbs. At this point, drawing the mannequin won't be very challenging because we have already learned to rotate the cube in space. And mannequins are basically bunch of cubes stacked upon one another. All the things which I have learned and practiced in the last five minutes will be tested right here. Even if it's difficult for you, you can always try by lowering the details, amount of details. Like in this one, I have used a simple rectangle for the abdomen, and the advanced level will be dividing it into three parts. Once you have basic shapes in place, begin adding more structure to the mannequin. Experiment with different poses and gestures for your mannequin. Consider the balance and weight distribution of the figure, as well as the overall movement and rhythm. Once you are satisfied with the overall pose and structure of the mannequin, refine your drawing by adding finer details. 